Hi, my name is Steve Appleblatt, and uh, I had my own stem cells injected into my right knee by Dr. Brian Roos. And the biggest benefit for me is I can ski full days again. And I'm a snow skier, and that's my passion. I can stay out there the whole day now and ski, and then I don't limp at night after skiing, which is something that happened before. I had my second stem cell injection about one week ago, and the first time was approximately eight months ago. And I got, I think, what I would class, I would classify as a 70% improvement in the function of my knee. And uh, I went back for a second injection because I'd like to see 100% improvement in my knee. When uh, I first got the injection, um, I didn't really notice any significant improvement for approximately somewhere between two to three months. And at about three months, the amount of swelling that was in my knee started to reduce dramatically. I noticed I could go up and down the steps uh, in my house without any pain, and I used to have to hobble up those steps. And then at about four to five months, I went skiing. And at the end of a ski day, I was typically only able to ski two or three hours on the injury that I had to my knee, and now I was able to ski four and five hours. And then within six months or seven months, I was able to ski full days again. You know, the alternative to stem cells, I, I've tried platelet-rich plasma injections, I tried the um, hyaluronic acid injections, um, which they have several different brands now. Uh, I tried Uflexa. Everything I tried didn't really significantly improve my knee for sports function, for skiing. And um, I was pretty much told that I was heading towards a total knee. And stem cells is something that offered me an option to try and avoid a total knee replacement. Uh, I also noticed that when I do uh, leg weights at the gym, um, I don't have the same amount of pain. I, I don't have any pain virtually. Now that I, when I do leg presses, leg curls, and leg extensions, that hurt a lot before. And some of the people I work with at work actually say, you know, you were really walking like an old man and now you're walking like a human again. On the day of the procedure, you come into the preoperative area and uh, I'm sure some people would choose IV sedation. I got, I took oral sedation, took my pills that Dr. Roos had prescribed for me, and it, it just helps allay anxiety. Uh, no intravenous. Went into the operating suite. They sterilely prepped and conditioned me, made sure I was comfortable laying on my stomach. At that point, they uh, take the bone marrow from my pelvis, the back of my pelvis, and it's a small incision and a, a needle to do that, and he numbed it up very well, so it really didn't hurt very much. Um, they take out that bone marrow, and then they close the small incision on your back while they're processing out the stem cells from the bone marrow. And I turned over onto my back, and when all of the stuff was processed, uh, Dr. Reese stuck a needle into my knee and injected the material. You know, a lot of people that I work out with, people at the gym and my friends have the same type of injury and I was very hesitant to recommend this kind of therapy to them until I saw the outcome. Um, it, my eight months out from my first injection now, I feel comfortable recommending it to anybody with a cartilage injury in their knee. Um, I think that Dr. Roos did a really awesome job at the actual technical procedure, but there's more to it than that. It's what you inject makes a big difference. And he got the team at Selling Biosciences. They have a, a way of extracting growth factors from the bone marrow that they inject with the stem cells. And however he did it, it seems to be working. I had the procedure done seven days ago. Um, I'm back in the gym now. I did the elliptical for 30 minutes yesterday. Uh, doing pretty much anything I want now except for leg weights for another three weeks and I have a ski, ski trip planned 